They're ready for the pre-wad. Here we go. John 15, 18 uh, begins to describe, Jesus begins to talk about stuff that if we'll read John 15 and through 16, we're about to see what is actually taking place in the world right now. Um, John 15, 18, uh, he starts saying the world hates, he talks about the world's hatred mm -hmm. and how much the world hates believers. He said, remember it hated me first. Yes. So you got to understand, you, not 15, 18. Well, yeah, John 15, 18 is where we are, but we are going to go from John chapter 15 through John chapter 16. So it goes, remember it hated me first. Uh, what <clears throat> they did to me, they will do to you because of me. Wow. So anybody who declares Christ as Lord and Savior, it says, look, you're going to go through <clears throat> the challenges that I've gone through because of me. Nepal is watching. Hey, Nepal. So glad you're jumping in. They on. don't need a, watch this. They do not need a cause to hate you. They just will hate you. That's it. Because you're a believer in a man named Jesus. Yes. Is this crazy? He said they don't, they didn't have to have a cause to hate him. They just hated him. Mm -hmm. He said, even after all the miracles, signs, wonders, and everything I did, they still hated me. And if you don't do a single miracle, sign, and wonder, and all you do is tell them about me, they're going to hate you. Now, verse 26 says, but I will send you an advocate. Yes. I'm going to send you. The word advocate here means the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, which brings, watch this, truth. So he said, I'm going to bring truth mm -hmm. because I'm leaving, but I'm sending one that will be your advocate and will be the one that is going to release truth for you. Yes. Now go down here into chapter 16. Good morning, Pastor Allen. Good morning. Go down to chapter 16, John 16, 1 through 2 in the New Living Translation. Mm -hmm. It says, for I have told you these things so that you won't abandon your faith. Yes. Uh-oh. Come on now, church. For you will be expelled from the synagogues. And the time is coming when those who kill you will think that they are doing a holy service to God. Okay, slow down. Yes. I've told you these things so that you do not abandon your faith because they're going to kick you out of church and not let you go worship. They're going to tell you it's illegal to sing worship. They're going to tell you it's illegal to go to church. They're going to tell you the church is not essential. They're going to try. Mm -hmm. To tell everybody that the church is a be breeding ground of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. When Walmart's not, Lowe's isn't. The restaurants aren't. The restaurants aren't. <clears throat> All these people going and hanging out at bars aren't. Uh, New York's. I mean, are, are you kidding me? That's right. That's right. Well, and honestly, there is more people in a Walmart, Sam's, Costco, um, all of these grocery stores than there ever would be even in a church. And they're hanging out in those places even longer. There's than so many some people, people out right churches. now. There's so many people out right now. It's ridiculous. Y'all, yeah. please. BLM protests, but that's not a protest now. Those or, are riots. Those are riots. Those you, are riots. I know you're messing with us, Joseph. He's a good friend of ours. All right. We love Joseph. Chapter 16, Jesus says, Don't abandon your faith. Mm -hmm. Don't abandon your faith. When oh, they tell they said you, Disney's open. Yeah, watch. Don't abandon wow. your faith when they tell you you can't go to church. And I hate to say this, folks. There's a lot of Christians out there that have bowed Amen, down. Amen, Joseph. Go on, go on, go on. I'm sorry, keep going. That's why I want to turn this thing on. <laughs> there are a lot of Christians out there that have already bowed down to Baal, mm -hmm. which is this new world order, and decided where we. I would rather bow down and accept this then have to deal with whatever oh jesus help so you so so there's already people that are saying they've left the church and haven't even come back online they they've haven't. left the church and have not darkened the doors haven't even spoke to their pastors i've talked to pastors and said i got people out here i haven't even heard from since march mm -hmm. because they're terrified Terrified. Let's keep going. Verse 5 through 15, or verse uh, 5, well, I don't know how it said. John 16, 5 through 8. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going away to one who sent me, and not one of you is asking where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Instead, you grieve because of what I've told you. Stop. How many people start grieving because of the word? They're like, oh, gosh, this is terrible. And Jesus goes, why are you getting upset? This is coming, and I'm telling you this, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you something. 
which is going to be the advocate that is going to bless Amen. you and help you. Amen. But in fact, it is best for you that I go away because if I don't, here we go, the advocate <laughs> won't come. Yes. But if I go away, then I will send him to you and he comes. When he comes, hold on, here we go. When the advocate comes, here's what we're fixing to find, the yes. purpose of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and share this and tag this. There's so many of hundreds of you are actually just jumping on right now. Make sure that you go back and watch the replay, but go ahead right now, share this and tag someone. This message of hope needs to be We're out about there. to show you the purpose of the Holy Ghost in John 16, 8 through 11. Mm -hmm. He will convict the world of its sin and of God's righteousness and of the coming judgment. The world's sin is that it refuses to believe in me. Righteousness is available because I go to the Father and you will see me no more. Mm -hmm. Judgment will come because the ruler of this world has already been judged. That's Satan. Mm -hmm. He's already been judged and he's already been found a weakling and defeated. Yes. Now, hold on. I thought that if you got the Holy Spirit, that was to prove our Pentecostal heritage and the experience of speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Because <laughs> see, here's what everybody's doing. Everybody said, I want the baptism of the Holy Ghost so I can pray in my heavenly language. Okay, mm -hmm. that's great. But it's an evidence, not the only evidence. That's right. The first evidence, one Jesus says here, is receive. Receive power to be a witness. You're not witnessing. Listen, if you're not witnessing, do you really have the mighty advocate living on the inside of you? Chris, you just need to pause and say a lot here for a minute because there's so many people that think that the pinnacle of the baptism of the Holy Spirit, which is, you know, the evidence of speaking in tongues. Which we pray it. in the Holy Ghost. Which they, they, we pray in the Holy Ghost more. We pray in English. They think that that's it. But that's not it. But it's about receiving power and being a witness. So let me ask you this. If you have received the ability to pray in tongues, but yet you have been still Which walking, is a gift. But you have still been walking in timidity Fear. to witness and to walk in the power Are that you has sure been that you've been you? baptized in the real Holy Ghost or Come did on. you get a blah, 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 blah. So we just we want to bring some truth to you so that way you are informed and equipped as a believer in the body. So Jesus releases this to us in John 16, mm -hmm. 8 through 11. And I'm going to go through it here step by step to give you some information. I'm going to give you some truth. Everybody say truth. Truth. All right. John 16, 13, New Living Common Translation. Truth. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. Yes. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own, but will tell you what he has heard, and he will tell you about the future. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Number one, the spirit of truth is the barometer. Yes. The spirit of truth is the barometer, which means he is the guide. Hey, Kristen. Cook. He is the one that leads us and directs us. To lead you in truth, to spot out the truth, and yes. to turn away from what's false. Come on. Davia said this. She goes, I do not know how you can put two words together. Liberal Christian. I, it, it, it bothers it, me. It, it, don't, it don't work. It, you, you can't. It don't work. Mm -mm. Democratic Christian. I don't see how it works. How not can not be, when you go through all the stuff they stand for. How can someone be pro-abortion and say that they are a believer so in So I'm going I'm to speak some truth here. It blows you, can, my mind. you cannot be left-wing and filled with the Holy Ghost. Period. You cannot be Boom. a left-wing, socialist, anti-God and claim to be a Christian or even try yes. to say you got the yes. Holy Ghost. If they think that they have something, they are deceived. So let me ask you a they're question. Not reading my Bible. Yeah. If the advocate is the authenticator of truth, why would you follow them? Mm -hmm. Because you've decided, back up. Mm -hmm. well, hold on. Now I'm not talking to everybody. I'm talking to those Christians that have done this. Walked away and abandoned their faith. Jesus. Abandoned their faith for the sake of, 
of what we think is humanity instead of going out and declaring truth yes. and shaping and changing things. Now what we are doing, oh. Whew. The Holy Ghost will come as a truth barometer and he'll start releasing the truth. Mm -hmm. He's gonna come and convict sin. He's going to come in God's righteousness. He's going to come in God's judgment. He's going to reduce okay, the world's sin is that it refuses to believe in me. That's sin. What's number two? Let's keep going right here on number two. I don't want to go back. Number two, he will, he will, he will not speak of himself. Mm -hmm. Number two, the Holy Ghost never speaks of himself. He only and always points to Jesus. Yes. How do you know now hear me, when you're listening to <clears throat> preaching, let's just go ahead and just say preaching. When you're listening to preaching, does the individual preaching point more attention to self or to Jesus? That's something that you as a listener need to because be aware of. Because if they're of. pointing more attention to self and the following of the individual, mm -hmm. And saying, you got to come live in my city. You got to come be a part of this, da, 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 da. But not pointing you to Jesus. They're not being led by the Holy Spirit. They're being led yes. by their flesh. Yes. The Holy Ghost always points to Jesus. Mm -hmm. He only says what he's heard from Jesus. And the Holy Ghost never takes the credit. You understand? That, that is what mm. I love about the Holy Spirit. He does not take the credit for any. He only is a voice because he's an advocate of what Jesus is already saying. Yes. And he releases that to people. How does he release it? Well, it's got to be released through somebody. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's why people say, well, we're just waiting on God to show it. No. Listen to me. Quit praying. <sighs> Quit praying for Jesus to change things because he's not. He's waiting on you he's to do not. it. He's not. He's empowered you it's to done. do it. He's done. You're the atmosphere shifter. He said, I'm, all, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. When I left this place and brought the Holy Ghost down, it's no it's longer me. Power. It's for you to do it. Yes. Hey, Abigail. I don't know why. Jesus. No. Mm -hmm. We come boldly before the throne of grace making our yes. requests known. So now that the power of Holy Ghost is down on the inside of me, now I come and I say, regardless of symptoms, regardless of how yes. I feel, I command COVID-19 to die. I command this economy to shift. I command yes. right now in the name of Jesus, I command for left-wing uh, infidels or whatever to be stopped in the name of Jesus. And I'm the one that begins to declare it because it's the Holy Ghost yes. living on the inside of me. Jesus said, greater works you shall do, but what the heck is the church doing? Sitting on our blessed assurance doing nothing. Yes, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Holy Ghost never took the credit. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Number three, he will tell you about the future. Uh oh. Well, we got a crystal ball Jesus here? No. <laughs> it's not about that. Y'all listen. He will tell you about the future. He will tell you what is to come. You know, when you spend time with the Holy Ghost and quit listening to the lies about all these poles out there, <sighs> hear me. There's so much fear tactic going on Do in the you know media what, right you now. You know what the poles are right now? It's called an intimidation factor. Mm -hmm. The poles are rigged right now to get you to think something as if you're already defeated. It's what Hillary did. And she's sitting at the house on her booty. She ain't in the White House. But this is what they did with Hillary. Mm -hmm. The points are exactly the same. 49-42. Exactly the same. And what was the outcome in 2016 is going to be the outcome in 2020. But we've got to make sure Christians are registered to vote. And you, you got to register to and go vote. You have it's to an vote. intimidation factor. If I can intimidate you and make you feel less of who you are, it's a tactic of the enemy. I can intimidate you and make you yes. feel like you're a loser, even when you're probably like an incredible person. Well, it's all about identity, Chris. Then what it is, is if I, listen. It's identity. It's identity. It's Jezebel telling Elijah, I'm going to kill you and him running to the backside of a mountain. Yes. Instead of standing and up. And whining about all this mess when my God, you just killed all these prophets. Mm -hmm. You're bad to the bone and you're hiding. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. I, I want to stop right there just for a second, Chris, for you to touch on 
The reason why people are so willing <coughs> to believe a lie, the cigar spray, um, the reason why people are so willing to believe a lie is because they are not rooted in their identity in Christ. If they don't really know who they are, they're easily swayed. Now watch this. Ooh. Number four. Here's my last one. Share this and tag this if you haven't already. What does the advocate do? He brings Jesus glory. John 16, 14 through 15, New Living Translation. He will bring me glory by yes. telling you whatever he receives from me. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will tell you whatever yes. he receives from me. Yes. The Spirit, which is the advocate, which is the comforter, is speaking. He says, I give Jesus all the glory, all the praise, all the honor. Yes. The words of Jesus are being spoken through the power of Holy Spirit. My question to you today is, as the church, are you listening? You've got to get quiet and hear the word of the Lord. Amen. I'm going to be straight up with you. For the longest time, I never thought I could do this daily. Why? You preach daily. I preach every day. Why did I not think I could do this? Because the enemy tried to tell me, you can't come up with a word. And you know what, devil? You're right. I can't. But the Holy Ghost can. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Ghost can speak exactly what needs to be spoken at the exact moment, yes. at the exact time, and release the word of God to me. Yes. Chris, what did you do? Did you study this yesterday? And all of a sudden, no, I woke up this morning, I began to pray. Yes. I said, Holy Ghost, what is the word for today? I'm a poet and didn't know it. I began to pray, <laughs> ask for the word for today. In doing so, <laughs> he him. sent me to John 15. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. These literally are prophetic words of each day. I'm sitting here looking at my Bible, and he goes, go to John 15. Yes. And I begin to read, and then Holy Ghost begins to say, here, 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 here. But now here. that doesn't just happen <clears throat> just by stance. You get in the word, you get in prayer, mm -hmm. you shut down the voices of everything else. I do. You're, he's not on social media. He's not listening to Y'all think I'm podcasts. on social media, but I'm not. Davey is. It is me. So, but I make sure he gets the messages. But, but you're I not, don't even have Facebook on my phone. He doesn't have This is the only Facebook I do, and it's hers. She's <laughs> my put my phone. name on there. Yes. I make him pretty. look good. I make him look good. Doesn't he look good? He's so pretty. Oh, my hat matches your shirt. I know. I just now saw that. We're going to have to take a picture and whenever this is over. I yeah, got camo we, shorts on. And we didn't plan this. I didn't know what you were wearing before I changed. We're she just did. in sync, y'all. <laughs> hey, share this and tag this and get yes. it out there. Go get alone and quiet with the Holy yes. Ghost. Let him talk to you today. Yes. Let him reveal himself to you. Go be a powerful witness. Go tell people yes. about the love of Jesus Christ. Yes. Go tell him how awesome he is. And, and me, go tell him, hold on, and go tell see. people, quit being intimidated by the news and the media and the left wing and, and all by this, this mess. Virus. By the virus and all that. I, I'm going to be straight up with you. I know the virus is bad. It yes. sucks. Mm -hmm. We'll tell you straight up. We know it sucks. It's not good. We hate it. Yes. But we're going to, not being quarantined is not fun, good, fun. but we're going to speak against it. Yes. Jesus said, you've got the word on the inside of your mouth to curse a fig tree and tell a mountain to move. Yes. So here right now in my house in Chattanooga, Tennessee, COVID-19 dies. You have no legal right in this area and nowhere yes. around us in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. And we yes. command healing to come now yes. in Jesus' mighty name. Anybody that is watching that has struggled from this or that has been affected by this or, or the economy or has lost a job or any other sickness for that matter. We just prophesy into you healing health and prosperity now in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Woo. This was such a good word today. Y'all need to share this and tag this. I think it is our personal responsibility as Christians and as believers in Christ to share his truth, to share his love and to make him famous in Amen. the world. You know, Amen. whenever you were talking about pros, uh, proximity a few, um, a few points ago and you were talking about people looking at Jesus and not looking at the person, something that, was re that I was reminded of, during all of this with COVID and people are, a lot of people at the very beginning had to quarantine for 14 days. It was like these governmental mandate <coughs> or, or mandate on your states and different things. The reality is, is our proximity had to be 
and still has to be to the Father, not to man. Yeah. Because real Christians are being revealed right now. Who you really are is being exposed right now because whenever trials and pressure come, it exposes who you really are. Yeah. And the reality is, is that we need our proximity to be to the Father, not about man. Amen. So we encourage you today to get close to the Father, to get close to who He is, to let your identity rest in who He is. Seek Him. Um, and, and, and we, we love it that you are jumping on here and a part of this ministry and praying for us and supporting us. But we encourage you to get in your Bible alone yes. by yourself. I always say that. Go, yes. go read it for yourself and go read it and go receive the word for yourself. Yes. Go get in there and get it. Yes. Now, that being said, everything Davey said right there, you understand that there are two assignments that we were not at a, 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 two assignments we were not able to go on. So it one would, yesterday and for this weekend and for this week. weekend and next week. So we're asking you as a part of this ministry, yes. we're asking you to be a part of it and actually become either a uh, monthly partner or donate into this ministry. Make a one-time donation, yes. The sowing seed into this word will be a blessing to you. We declare over uh, Deuteronomy 1 verse 11 that a thousandfold return will come into you. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. So we pray for you. We pray for those that are hurt. We pray for those that are sick. We pray for we those. We just saw a message come through. Somebody had a, a motorcycle accident. We pray healing over we them right now. We declare healing over them right Jesus. now in the mighty name of Jesus for yes. Dana. We declare healing. Over your, I think it was your nephew that you said. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. name, yes. So we're asking you today, be a part. Yes, go to chrisworksministries.com. We have Chris's book, Restoring True Identity. We have our newly designed Challenge and Revival shirt. We also have our partner exclusives for those who... Um, Join with us with reoccurring monthly partnership. That information's on site. But just to let you guys know, um, if you missed the beginning of this message, um, because Allie, we declare healing over your mother now. COVID die in Jesus' in name. Jesus Allie, name. I need you to speak that. I need you yes. to speak over your mother. Call out her name and say, I command COVID to die. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We declare that if even if people test positive, that their symptoms will stop now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now in the name of Jesus. Again, go to chrisworksministries.com. Um, anything that um, is donated, if you're getting a shirt or a book or any of that, those things are going to be mailed out towards the end of next week. So we just want to go ahead and let you know that. But don't wait till then. We need you to go ahead and pre-order now. Amen. Amen. So remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Y'all.